Hi, it's Friday again and I've been drawing all week. I'm still drawing. Eddie and I are home alone because CB is in New York. I know, not fair. He's there for work. And I've been working on the book and I've been working on the postcards for the little wine shop that I showed you in the last video already. But I just realized I lost my pencil sharpener yesterday, probably at work. So um, I, can't, I can't continue without it. So I thought I would go on a little morning excursion to Bosner, the art supply store. And I'll take you with me and with Eddie. stressful to be honest <laughs> the first thing I um, that was on the door of Bosner when we came to the art supply shop was no dogs allowed and of course I was there with Eddie and we walked all the way there so it was like <laughs> already quite a trip but then we made it in we snuck in I had him in my arms the whole time so that was quite difficult to film and carry him and look for stuff so I'm gonna do a better job vlogging there another time it was super nice to be there. I normally go to Mudolor, so it was nice for a change to go to Busner. I'll show you what I got later, but first I'm so excited. I had a package waiting at the neighbor and I just picked it up now. I got this Shul Pescura. These are these super old school little wooden clog sandals. And I don't know what I was like, I wanted to get these for a while, but they're quite expensive and I know normal price is about like 80, 90 euros. And I don't know what I was doing one day, just scrolling around a little bit. And I found them for 19 euros, these denim ones. <laughs> okay, this is like, I'm ready to go to Miami, I'm ready to go to, I don't know where. <laughs> Hey, I'm ready to slump around some fancy beach town. Oh, hey, stop it. Oh my gosh, okay. <laughs> so fun for clunking around. I'm gonna... Um, oh, it's Sibi. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. How's it going? It's good. Oh, God. <laughs> Look what I got. So CV is in New York City and he just called and he sent me some footage of uh, Carrie Bradshaw or what's her name Sarah Jessica Parker the actress but it's Carrie and Aiden and he sent me the footage now and I was just talking about it. how I got the shoes that Carrie made me buy They were filming Sex in the City in the street, we just walked right by Yeah <laughs> That's so cool yeah, I can imagine. Okay, sad news. I realized that the shoes, the little clogs were too small. One size too small. My feet were hanging out a little bit too far. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to send them back. And of course, um, these 19 year old ones, they don't have them in my size anymore. In size 40. So I'm gonna have to do a big research and hopefully I can get them still on sale somewhere, but hopefully I find some. Okay, we got chard, cauliflower, fagioli misti, and I'm looking for <laughs> the little clunky shoes again, the proper size. I was quite quick and really only got what I needed is this paper I always get 
by Tyler Rooney. It's a 200 gram A4. I always use this one also in A5. And I got the sharpener, just the Faber Castile, the little one with the cup. And then I also got this one, just I don't know. Never want to lose a sharpener again, so I have two now. And I have a new eraser, a Faber Castile one. I'm not too picky with those things, so. All right, now I'm going back to work. So I do the sketches in iPad, quick sneak peek. And then I put them under here and I trace it here on the nice paper so I can ink them. is coming tomorrow and uh, <laughs> yeah I'm happy he's coming back he's like I only hang out with CB and Eddie for <laughs> like 99% of the time so it's really weird when he's not here but I got a few things done not as much as I wanted to but I colored the postcards from last week I can show you them up here, but uh, it's not yet confirmed that these are the finished ones. I might still change some colors or something. But so far, that's it. I did some tracing for the book illustrations. And I was hoping I will also have them inked already today. But that didn't happen because I was distracted with little clogs. Mm, and I went to Bosnia. So I do that over the weekend, but hopefully some nice stuff also throughout the weekend. Okay, I finished my falafel and then I came here and I was, oh, should I still do some inking? And then I remembered <laughs> Zavi's clip of Carrie today and I just remembered that this um, is uh, and just like that um, show is out, which is the continuation of Sex and the City. And I just bought the first season and I'm going to watch it today, so I'm going to do my little evening setup there on the sofa and that's going to be it for me for today. Okay, I got myself a hot chocolate, got myself a sweet dog, got a laptop here, it's a party, huh? Okay, it's Saturday morning and see we just arrived. So he's now asleep because he was on a plane the whole night and jet lagged probably. So I'm just gonna do some inking and then when he comes to live, then we can do something nice. These are the book illustrations that I have drawn with a pencil. These are for the final ones. So I'm just gonna start inking them. He scary. <laughs> Let's go. Inking is like the best meditation for me because you have to be like super precise. It's not a difficult task where you have to think about anything a lot, but you have to be super precise and just focus on this. So it's, it's really nice. <laughs> Just focusing on the lines, focusing on not smearing stuff, that's all. The sketch part before, when I prepare the outlines, it's much more stressful. <laughs> you have to do all the work, do all the thinking work there. Here, just follow the lines. This book is the perfect thing for me to draw, really. I was so lucky. The clients are amazing. <laughs> they just 
still just give me so much freedom to draw I'm not they don't really guide me that much but I mean sometimes guidance is very helpful but for them to trust me on in the process of drawing my first children's book is just such a blessing and just really gives me all the motivation and all the energy to focus on this and not to try and please them and they're just happy with it looks like so far um, and just the themes of the theme of the book is so nice it's I'm so so lucky I'm so happy ah scheisse okay little mistakes still do happen sometimes it's not necessary it's not necessarily but um thank god we have a photoshop for that and actually i edit a lot in procreate it's easy to delete the lines and edit them there actually don't use photoshop a lot at all or even illustrator um, i only use photoshop to remove the backgrounds um, and then all the rest i do in procreate i even do all the youtube thumbnails in procreate so much easier and quicker Yeah, I wasn't sure if I was going to go all digital on these illustrations, but I decided to go half digital, half analog. I still think that a little touch of analog does a lot for the character, for the texture. At least with my simple style, it's just if the line is hand drawn just adds a lot because the way I color is super simple you know, all just like solid surfaces so this line really makes it I think it's gonna be so worth it even though it's a lot more work but uh, yeah I don't know about me in downtown I mean I've had fun downtown and I've cried downtown but Never lived downtown. <laughs> Just a few seconds. <laughs> it's not a Caribbean, and that's not a breeze, that's Paramus. <laughs> So I make matcha azuki bean and this one is a yuzu cheesecake. I'm going to try it. Oh, wow, I can't wait for it. Look at this little thing. I'm sorry, can I just... Wow, very yummy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's nice. A little bit mm. okay. dog park action of the day. These are the corgis coming, Cho Cho. There are two little mopsy types in the fight. She really wishes she could run around now. Oh, Puglay. <laughs> Okay. 
second falafel in three days. Um, or the other way. And uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this vlog. I hope you have a good week and I'll see you soon. Hola! Hello, Mm-hmm.